Dear students, I am Dr. Divya Haridas and I am going to present a chapter on sound and communication. We communicate in many ways, even an infant communicates and does it just with sounds, expressions and without words. Adults communicate by talking or writing to each other, while talking directly is the most used form of communication. Technology has enabled us to use many other ways, like telephone, radio, television, text messages like paging, SMS and internet. All make use of waves, but we use sound waves in talking while electromagnetic radio waves in sending voice through the radio set or telephone. After completing this lesson, the learner will be able to understand the following objectives. The objectives are to describe the need and the importance of communication, to identify and appreciate different types of communication systems and to highlight the use of computers and satellites in communication. Need and importance of communication. Let's discuss about it. It's by communicating among ourselves that we know each other's thought and take actions. Communication through sound assumes the prime place. Sometimes sound is here directly, sometimes through instruments like loudspeakers and sometimes it's communicated over large distance using complex equipments. Let us discuss about different types of communication systems and devices. Some common devices for sound communication other than independent oral or printed communications are microphones and speakers, telephone, satellite, computer and internet in communication and ham. Let us discuss about microphone and speakers. The microphones, mic and the speakers are very common equipments. You see them not only in public meetings and conferences, you come across them even when you are using your phone. The work of a microphone and a speaker are opposite of each other. A microphone converts sound into electrical entity, let's say a voltage, while a speaker converts a voltage into sound by moving the diaphragm of the speaker and producing vibrations in the air. Basically, a microphone has a diaphragm which moves when sound pressure pushes it. This movement can be converted into proportional voltage using several possible transducers. Here a transducer is a device which receives electrical, mechanical or acoustic waves from one medium and converts them into related waves for a similar or different medium. The microphones can be of several types such as electrostatic, piezoelectric, contact resistance and magnetic type. Students, you can see an electrostatic type condenser microphone on the screen. It has a thin diaphragm of thickness 1 to 10 micrometers. Close to this plate stands another metallic plate with holes. These two plates act as electrodes and are kept at opposite polarity by supplying voltages from minus 60 to plus 60 DC volt. When sound waves pushes the diaphragm, it vibrates and the capacitance of the condenser or capacitor changes. This is because the capacitance is proportional to the potential difference and inversely proportional to the separation between the plates. Any change in the separation changes the capacitance. The values of the resistance and the capacitance are shown such that the change in voltage is immediately reflected in the voltage across the resistance in series. Any change in the capacitance, that is any change in the sound leads to voltage change. The voltage change is then fed to an amplifier. When the amplified voltage is applied to the coil of a speaker, it reproduces the sound which changes with input sound. The functioning of the speaker is just reverse. There electrical voltage is fed to the speaker coil and the change causes the diaphragm to vibrate and produce sound. In a magnetic type ribbon microphone, a ribbon is made of a metal which is suspended in a magnetic field. Sound wave causes the ribbon to vibrate. So, change in magnetic flux through the ribbon occurs. This induces an electric current which drives a speaker. When this current is flown through a coil which is attached to the diaphragm of the speaker, the diaphragm starts vibrating and produces sound. 
The ribbon microphone senses pressure gradient and not just pressure. Therefore, it detects sounds from both sides. Another medium of communication is telephone. Invention of the telephone is credited to Alexander Graham Bell. The telephones are of several types, handsets, mobile phone, satellite phone and through internet. The basic function of a phone is to allow communication of voice both sides. Of late, phones with facility of transmitting images have also been available. The telephone may be with or without a wire. A wired phone has a microphone and a speaker. The microphone receives our voice and converts it into an electrical signal. Similar process occurs inside the mouthpiece of the telephone. The basic telephone has three main parts, the cradle with a hook switch, a mouthpiece which houses a microphone and a hearing piece which houses a speaker which is usually an 8 ohm speaker. The speech is controlled by mouthpiece which contains a mic. It includes a diaphragm. In the old phones, the diaphragm was made up of two metallic sheets between which carbon granules were filled. As one speaks, the diaphragm gets pressed following the same pattern as the sound of a speaker. In turn, the carbon granules also get compressed and decompressed, comes closer and moving away, thus increasing and decreasing the conductivity. A current is sent through the diaphragm. The source of this DC current is a battery at telephone exchange and the current comes to our phone. This current will depend upon the sound pressure. Hence, this can pattern the signal being sent through the amplifier and the cable. This signal as electric current is sent to a junction box outside our house using a pair of copper or aluminum wires. These are signals from other houses also reaching this junction box. All of these electrical wires carry voice signals as sound is converted into electrical signal which are sent through a common coaxial cable housing many pairs of copper wires to the telephone company's exchange. From there they can be routed either through metallic or fiber optical cables. These days the signals are also routed from the exchange through microwaves using satellites especially for international calls. The hearing is controlled by a speaker. It consists of a diaphragm with a permanent magnet attached to it on one end and an electromagnet close to the other end. The electromagnet is a piece of soft iron with a coil wound around it. The signal comes and flows through the coil. This causes the iron core to be magnetized. This naturally causes the diaphragm to vibrate in the same pattern as incoming current or voice. This generates sound that we hear. Mobile phones have bought great convenience in our daily life. The basic working principle remains the same in mobile phones as well. But for them, the sound doesn't travel through cables or wires. It travels as electromagnetic wave through space via antennas, base towers, switching stations, and then again to antenna. When a number is dialed, the electromagnetic field is spread all around through antenna of the mobile. The signal is received by the nearby microwave tower and then by the switching station. This station retransmits it in all the direction and a part is available to the other antennas in other places. When an antenna near the intended receiver gets a signal, it also retransmits it and this is received by the antenna of the intended mobile which rings. Now let us discuss the use of satellites, computers and internet in communication. Satellites. Satellites are bodies that revolve around the planets. All the planets in solar system except Mercury have natural satellites. Moon is a natural satellite of Earth but we have artificial satellites which are launched by several countries. The first artificial satellite was Sputnik 1, was launched by USSR on October 4, 1957. It carried a radio transmitter. India launched its first artificial satellite, Aryabhatta, from a USSR launching facility on 19th April 1975. This was followed by Bhaskara 1. After developing indigenous launch vehicles, SLV-3, India launched 35 kg Rohini 1 using a four-stage SLV-3 vehicle 
followed by two more in the Rohini series. Many satellites like Bhaskara 2 and INSAT, Indian National Satellite Series, which have been used for communication, TV and radio broadcast. India has successfully launched many satellites for remote sensing and communication. We can send electromagnetic signals to the other side of the globe through the satellite in space. Therefore, the artificial satellite have come to play a very important role in any country's infrastructure. They serve very important role in communication, space research, survey of natural resources like minerals on earth, weather prediction, including movements of clouds, also change in course of rivers and disaster monitoring like floods, cyclones and tsunami. Communication becomes important for imparting education as well. A satellite's position and orbit are critical. The satellite has to be launched using a rocket, lifted into the correct orbit and given suitable energy and momentum in the right direction so that it keeps moving. A satellite could be geostationary which remains stationary with respect to earth. A satellite in a geostationary orbit keeps moving with the same angular speed as earth and in the same direction as rotation of earth. So, a geostationary satellite has a revolution time which is equal to the rotation of earth that is 24 hours. As you can see on the screen, the satellite appears to be a fixed position to an observer on earth. It can keep looking at the same spot on earth for a very long time, monitor the changes and transmit the data to the ground station. Thus, to direct antennas towards the satellite to receive the signal, one doesn't have to keep tracking a moving satellite. That would have been demanded more expensive instruments on ground for direct TV transmission. Low orbit satellites are placed around 400 kilometers above the ground. But being low, they can only see a small portion of the ground below. There are polar satellites that moves over the poles. The remote sensing satellites have been placed in comparatively low, which is less than 1000 kilometers high orbits in contrast with the communication satellites. In geostationary satellites which moves around 36,000 kilometers above earth. A geostationary satellite is useful for countries at low altitudes such as India. The signal is sent from ground to the satellite as microwave at certain frequency and the satellite retransmit it to other part of the earth at a different but still microwave frequency. The highly directional antennas on earth receive these microwave signals. Thus, satellites makes it possible to send TV, radio signals to far away places on earth, even on the other side of the globe, computer and internet. Today, computers are inevitable in daily life. Computers play a major role in publishing industry, designing of houses, controlling the functioning of cars and garments, computerized machining, regulating air traffic and in simple as well as the most sophisticated scientific instruments. Even at home, majority of the gadgets, whether television, automatic washing machine, television, microwave oven, one finds application of computers. Besides this, they have revolutionized communication. Using email, one can send a message, chat live, which is send and receive text, and even talk instantly, which has revolutionized communication. Earlier, it would be weeks before one could send a message and receive a reply from abroad. Today, it's a matter of seconds. Ham. The term ham, H-A-M, was coined taking the first letters from the surnames of three persons who started this way of wireless communication which is a wireless two-way communication. They were Hyman, Alby and Murray. It was in 1908 that they started an amateur radio club, which was grown to the present worldwide group of amateurs. Even today, when mobile phones are so common, the ham comes handy in case of disasters when all other means of communications breaks down. Ham uses radio waves. Radio waves travels at a velocity of about 3 lakh kilometer per second. Sound is converted into electromagnetic signal and transmitted using antenna. The sound is 
intercepted by the receiver which converts it back to the sound. Let us summarize what we have learned in this chapter. The inventions of microphone, speakers, telephone, satellites, computer, internet and ham have revolutionized communication. They all work through the conversion of sound. A microphone converts sound into electrical signal while the speaker converts it back into the sound. Microphone can be of different types like condenser, piezoelectric, contact and magnetic mic. Sound pollution can have dangerous implications and hence care should be exercised that the level is kept low. Prolonged use of mobile phones can also damage us and there is a possibility of serious illness. Thank you so much.